thought it was a good speech. Um, I, it, I think Obama, he traditionally gives really good speeches. What I want to see him do is to take this good speech and not just have it on one day a year, take it and actually fight, take this, get his hands dirty, really get out there. And uh, people elected Obama and the Democrats to actually initiate change. And uh, so far, this, this his first year, he's done an all right job. But what he really needs to do is go out there and fight for this, you know, 365 days a year, go out, get his hands dirty, and really take it to take it to the Republicans, take it to the, the Democrats in the Senate who are not pushing the stuff through. He needs to go out there and really, you know, again, fight for what people elected him to do. I thought that the president gave the most candid State of the Union speech I've ever heard and really asked a lot of Americans to get involved, which is something I think we really need at this time right now. Are you discouraged by what happened in Massachusetts? Um, are you thinking differently about this presidency than you were, say, on inauguration day? I think campaigning and governing are two different things. And I think that a lot of us knew that governing is going to be a totally different thing. And I'm happy to see that Massachusetts wants to do something different. I think our country has been looking for something different for a long time. I think whether it's Democrat, Republican, Green Party, Libertarian, that doesn't matter so much. I think what matters is that people want to come to government, work hard, come with new ideas, and find solutions for the American people. What do you think about um, where health care reform stands at this point? Do you think it's still a possibility or are you discouraged by, by that? I think that in terms of health care, I think I personally would like to see something at least like the public option come through. I know that at this point right now, Congress is very difficult in what it wants to get done. I think we need something to move forward so that the next session can take a step to get closer to that goal. Are you optimistic that um, the president can forward his agenda in an election year, and you think politics is going to get back into it? You know, I'm, I'm an American. I'm an optimistic guy. I don't care what kind of president we got. I always think we're going to do the right thing and move forward. So I'm optimistic. It was a great speech, and we know he can make great speeches. You know, as a progressive and a person of faith, what I'd like to see him do is be a lot bolder. He needs to follow up his pretty words with action and really put his political muscle behind his ideas for reform. Do you think that he hasn't been bold enough in his first year in office? Absolutely. I mean, he let Congress handle health care. I wanted to see him. He was elected with a mandate for change. He could have done a lot for that himself, and he just didn't. Use reconciliation to pass the public option, because that's really the true thing that's going to actually have actual true reform. Uh, I'd like to see them, you know, it'd be nice to get them to, they, they need to make a bill go through, but uh, the only way to really do it is to have uh, the, the, the senators man up and, and stop letting the Republicans and Blue Dog Democrats stop the reform that's needed. This change has to happen and has to happen now. They don't need 60 to get things done. That's a made up goal. I mean, I think they're using that as an excuse to be weak themselves. I'm not that worried about Scott Brown. I'm an American. I'm an optimistic guy. I don't care what kind of president we got. I always think we're going to do the right thing and move forward. So I'm optimistic. It's wishful thinking for it to think they're going to win over Republicans. Not a, no single Republican has voted for anything that the president. All they has done his enti this entire year. I think they've wasted. Obama and the Democrats have wasted countless time and political capital uh, trying to compromise with Republicans who have no interest in governing. They only have interest in, fill in, in stopping Obama and stopping the Democrats in their own political gain. So they need to stop fooling around and get to work. And if they get to work, I think the I think the elections in 2010 and 2012 can go well for Democrats. They need to stop playing around and stop uh, this fantasy that Republicans are actually have the interests of the American people in mind, which they don't. Yeah. I'm optimistic insofar as we have nowhere to go but up.